Today we're at Orangewood Elementary School, and today we're here to... This afternoon, I've got Giovanni, a fourth grader, and what school do we go to? Orangewood. There you go. All right. And we're going to do a little multiplying today. You ready? All right. Why don't you turn around and take a look at this. And you're in fourth grade, so let's say there are 69 fourth graders in your school. And your principal is feeling generous and decides to give each of you 50 cents just for coming to school that day. Mm -hmm. How much money will she have to give all of the sixth graders that day? So, so there's your marker. How would you like to work this out? I would like to work it out by doing um, algebra notation method. You show me what you'd like to do. Okay. So what were you doing right there? I was um, when you were going counting like by fives. Okay, so tell me how you got that. So I went 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Until you get to six, okay. so I got thirty, and then there's two zeros right here, so I add the two zeros, and that makes three thousand. Nicely I'm done, good. right? Yeah. Three thousand. And then I grab the sixty, and I put it right here, and I put zero, so I'm getting all the sixty, putting a zero, and get the number on the other one. So if we do sixty times zero, what will that be? Zero. Do do we even need to write it up there? No. Let's erase it. And then it'll be 50 times 9, uh, and that'll be 50, no, 45. There you go. You had the two numbers there. Yeah. And then 9 times 0, which will be 0. Right. So, and then we add this. That'll be 0, 5, 4, 3,455. So 300, 450 what? Uh, so, um, Dollars? I mean cents. Well, which one is it? Dollars or cents? Cents. Cents. So 3,450 cents she needs to bring. Mm -hmm. And are they all going to be pennies? I think, no, they're all going to be uh, quarters. You think quarters? Yeah. Okay, so instead of saying 3,450 cents, is there another way to say that? Or we could show that so that it's money. Let's we'll say I wanted to do dollars and cents. Oh, so you put the dollar sign? So now it's three thousand four hundred fifty dollars. Oh wait! Sweet. <laughs> I guess the cents. <laughs> you want to go back to the cents? Yeah. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. You were multiplying sixty-nine times fifty cents, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. How many? Is there a decimal up here in this number? Mm. Do you see a decimal point anywhere up here? No. No, there isn't one, right? Okay. And if there was one, it would be right here, and it would just be zero. Okay. Is there a decimal point here? Yeah, right there. Right there. And how many numbers are after the decimal point? A two. Two. So let's take your number, 3,450, and what we'll do is we'll just erase that comma right there for right now. Okay. And if the des where is the decimal point here right now? No. There isn't one. So just like with this, if there is no decimal point, where do we put it? We put it in where... Um, right at the end, right? So go ahead and put the decimal point there at the end. Just a dot? Just the dot. That's the decimal point. Okay, now we need to move it two places, right? So move it two places to the right. So you're going to go like this. One, two. One, two. Okay, so now put the decimal point there. Seven. So now what is that? $34.50. I mean... It is. Yeah. But how do I know that's dollars and cents? It just says 34.50. Because you got to put the signs, like the dollar sign, the, the dollar sign and the Well, let's go, sign. Giovanni. Put the dollar <laughs> sign. Now what do we have? $34.50. All right. So your principal says there are 69 fourth graders in the school, and I want to give them each 50 cents today. We're going to do a little lesson on money. How much money does she have to bring? $34.50. Do we need this number at all for anything? No, because that's just the, uh, the number for the, for the grade you are in, like fourth grade. Giovanni, nice work, dude. <laughs>